1.5, we're going to be looking at math operations with significant figures, both for multiplying, dividing, and adding and subtracting. And we're also going to talk about how to round numbers properly. The first rule we're going to look at has to do with multiplication and division, and the rule is the same. When we're rounding a number, we want to look at the term that has um, it's the least precise measurement with the fewest significant figures. In this example, we have three terms. The first term, uh, all of the digits are significant, the two, these two sandwich zeros and the two. So there are four significant figures. I'm using S, F for significant figures. Here we have three significant figures. All of those terms are significant. And here we have just the first two digits that are significant. That zero is not because there's no decimal point shown. That means that uh, since it was 4, 3, and 2, we can only have two significant digits in our final answer. So we got to round this number off. It's the first two places. The 1 doesn't affect that 2, so it's 320,000 cubic centimeters. Do another example of that type. And here we're going to look at density. The first term in the numerator has three significant figures, all three of those fives. And here this is also three significant figures, so it makes it easy. They both have three sig figs, so our answer can have only three significant figures. So it's the first three places. The nine rounds the eight up, so it would be 3.19 grams per milliliter. That's our final answer for the density. Next we're going to switch over to addition and subtraction and we're looking at the number of decimal places involved in this measurement. So the number of decimal places we have um, the 8 is our last significant figure and that goes to the thousands place. The 6 is our last significant figure in the second measurement and that goes to the tens place. And our last significant digit in the third term is in the ones place. The answer before it's rounded for this example is shown. Now, since this is the least precise term, then that means we can only go to the ten, tens place with our answer. So there's thousand, hundred, tens place. The three does not change the nine. It does not round up. It stays what it is. And our answer is 1,790 centimeters, and that is rounded properly with the last significant digit in the tens place. Another example here is a little bit trickier, and sometimes this frustrates people, but it makes sense. Here we have a thousand miles, and it only has one significant digit. There's no decimal place shown at the end, so this was not measured very carefully. From that, we're going to subtract 25.5 miles which was measured to the tenths place. So much more it was a much more carefully made measurement. Uh, the answer before it's rounded um, was 974.5. Now the last significant digit here was in the thousands place, so our last significant digit can only be in the thousands place. So wow we have to look at what the nine would do to this zero. Well the nine would round the zero up to a one and so it would be 1,000 miles. And you're thinking, oh, what's the point of that calculation? Where I started with 1,000, subtracted around 25, and I still ended up with 1,000. But remember, this first answer is not measured very carefully. It could have been anywhere upwards of 500 and below 1,400. So it wasn't carefully made. It was just an estimate. To take away 25 miles, what do you know? It's still probably somewhere around 1,000 miles. If the measurement was made a little bit more carefully, and it was a thousand with um, the tenths place known, now we have all five of those digits are significant in those, and we go to the tenths place. So our answer in the tenths place works, and that is the correct answer rounded appropriately. Rules for rounding, if we have a series of calculations, we would carry the extra digits to the final result, and then we would round. Now with rounding, we already looked at this. If the digit to be removed is less than 5, the preceding digit will stay the same. Let's say if this last 3 is the one to be removed. So what does that 3 do to that 3? 
well, doesn't round it up, it stays the same. So here's our final answer. Now what if that digit, digit was 5 or above? If it's equal to or greater than 5, the preceding digit is, I know it's a typo there, is increased by 1. So if this 5 is to be removed, what does that 5 do to that 3? Rounds it up to a 4. There's our final answer. Let's look at a bunch of examples. We'll round these to two significant digits. Remember that these zeros, the leading zeros in the front, don't count as significant. So be these two digits. The 5 would round that 3 up to a 4. The first two digits, the 9 would round that 2 up to a 3. First two digits, the 1 does not change the 0. So it remains 40 centimeters, but be careful here. It requires a decimal point in that place to show that zero is significant. First two places, that nine would round the zero up to a one, so it would be 1,100 miles. And here, the first two places, that two would not round its preceding digit up. It would just stay a two, so it would be 2,200 meters.